right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. Well, for years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. And it all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camps. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. All right, with that, the wait ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold-out Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now, for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Mystery. Herb Dean, Great our fight. referee for this one. All right, we are back at Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi. As many of you know, this has become a very special building and destination for UFC athletes. Back in the day, it was Fight Island. Now it's just Abu Dhabi, but special nonetheless. And we expect a lot of high-level action inside that octagon here tonight. Now some separation for this clutch position. Oh, straight punch. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that level. Nice punch to the head. Ooh, another shot to the head. Fighting behind a nice jab. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice inside kick. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Nice jab. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. Beautiful kick. 
kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Inside leg kick. Circling towards the left now. Working off the jab, it's good. Just misses with the right. a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the dance. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Wow. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. Class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Misses again with a right punch. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Jab is on point right now. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Big land there. 20 seconds left. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. 15 seconds to go. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, nice combo. Right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Sniff that one out as he blocks it. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. 
He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Back to the jab now. Oh, big shot land. is true. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, nice body kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now, a lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop his fight. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Lands the inside leg kick there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 90 seconds to go now. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. He got him hurt bad here. Jeez Louise. 20 seconds to go round two. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, spinning heel kick and it lands. Two rounds in the books. Stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as they start to approach the end of the fight. 
right punch is good. The left also flush. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh my goodness. Oh, he got it again. oh this could just about do it. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pitch. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. No! He's hurt bad. Looks like he did stun a little bit. He's very close to the finish here. Lands a big elbow there. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. And he's back up. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. So the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice. Nice. 90 seconds to go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom. Man, that cut is hurt. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Mystery. All right, so another highlight for the reel of the undisputed UFC welterweight champion defends the title successfully here tonight.
and does so by TKO. A lot of people thought maybe this one was going to go the distance, but the welterweight king wasn't having any of that noise. Now all that's left to do, celebrate with the corner and look ahead to the next title defense. One thing, though, is for certain. It is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this fighter at 170 pounds.